Well, European countries meeting today to finalize the Greek bailout. First, it was which company is too big to fail. Now it's which entire country is too big to fail. The world rescue in Greece, now lots of other countries in a world of hurt. I want you to check out this map. These are all countries that, uh, well, could need a heap of help soon. Now, the brighter the color, the darker the debt problem. Italy, Spain, Portugal, Japan, Belgium. Those are just some of the vulnerable ones. So good chocolates in Belgium, I say save them. Republican Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers says not a penny for any of them. Even Belgium, uh, Congresswoman, with all the good chocolate, you'd let her rip. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's, just, uh, it's just the reality that America is suffering from bailout fatigue. In the last two years, we have spent tens of billions of dollars bailing out Wall Street, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Chrysler, GM. And we, we don't have the money now to go out and bail out the European countries. Consider we're running these record deficits ourselves, $1.4 trillion this year. We're borrowing 43 cents on every dollar. So... We're going to continue to borrow from China so we can bail out European countries? Well, to be fair, we're doing it through these international lending agencies like the IMF and the World Bank, of which we're obviously premier members, being who we are. But it's not as if it's a direct hit. But you're saying, regardless, stop it. Uh, I, I would like to see the European Union that was actually organized to be an economic competitor to the United States figure out how they're going to address the, the debt that they're running in so many of their, their countries. And I understand it means difficult decisions. It means tightening their belts. But you, you take Greece, for example. They've had very generous benefits for their employees and for those in the government. And, and what they need to do is impose stricter spending caps. They need to and do entitlement reform and they need to implement pro-economic growth policies and not just ask America and other countries around the world to bail them out after they've had really out of control government spending. At some point we have to say that we, this has to stop, that it is not sustainable. All right, I, I think you sent a letter to the Treasury Secretary about this. Have you heard back? Uh, we haven't heard back yet. Uh, and, and America is a big contributor, is the largest contributor to the IMF. And the, the deal that is currently being considered is a, it's an agreement between the IMF and the European Union to bail out Greece. Uh, we contribute about 17% of the money to the IMF. So American taxpayer dollars will be very much involved in, in bailing out Greece. And there's a growing concern that this could just be the beginning. This $145 billion for Greece w would very possibly be uh, followed up by even more for Greece as well as these other countries that are... Uh, facing very difficult budgets also. All right, but again, these are lending, again, these are lending agencies. This is not the U.S. government doing it. But I, I, I understand the gist of your point, Congresswoman. I guess what I'd like to know, though, if you argue against all those bailouts that we've seen, um, and now what could be the bailout of Greece and other countries to follow, then if you let them all rip, the argument is uh, there's hell to pay for everybody else. And it was the one firm we didn't save in 2008, Lehman Brothers. Remember that? And I remember covering that because Treasury Secretary Paulson at the time was debating, all right, now I'm bailing out everybody. I've got to cool it. And Lehman is the one to cool it on. So we didn't rescue Lehman. And then kaboom, you know. And I, I guess what I'm asking you, you're right, we'll never know. And I, I'm against these bailouts and rescues as well. But you're always going to wonder what happens when you just say no to everybody. I mean, is there just a global free fall? Because the people for these things say, Neil, that's exactly what you'll get, a global free fall. Uh, these are governments now that we're talking about bailouts for. So these are, these are governments that have been spending beyond their means. And America, you know, I'm very concerned about that we're headed down the same path as Greece. Greece found itself in a situation where it, its uh, debt, its public debt, was 113% of its GDP. They had taken on all this debt, right, right. expanded programs, and, and America is headed down this same path. If, if governments don't start tightening their belts, implementing balanced budgets, and, and prioritizing, and, and starting to say, you know what, we can't afford just everybody and, and these Sorry. bailouts for everyone, it, I don't see where it's going to stop. Congresswoman, we'll watch closely. Appreciate it, ma'am.